Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Thursday, October 3rd, 2024. We are back with our NFL best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Let's recap Monday's results. So, Monday, we had a nice day. We went five and three, members only sweep, Lions minus four. That was a great game. Very, it was so much fun to watch. Really happy the Lions covered, but this is definitely a preview of a playoff matchup without question. I think Seattle could win their division based off this game, and it's going to be an NFC Championship preview, I'm not going to lie. Um, Titans plus three. Everyone and their mother had Miami. Every single person. Your favorite capper had Miami. We had the Titans. You'll love to see it. Easy dub. Never a doubt, baby. Next, we had the over 46 and a half Seattle Detroit. That was basically free money. I think we got that one in like third quarter. Then we had the under 37 and a half Tennessee and Miami. This was definitely a top three bad beat for us this year without question. <laughs> like, holy shit. It's better than everything that happened. For those guys didn't watch or because the game was basically over. It was 22-12. Tennessee punts the ball. I think there's like two, like 30, like it's like 247 left in the game. The game's over. Miami can't move the ball for shit. But the Tennessee punter puts down an unbelievable punt to like the five-yard line. Tyler Huntley drops back to pass. Tennessee brings basically a zero blitz. Intentional grounding in the end zone, two points. But even that, we're still like, okay, the under 37 and a half, we're still good. They're going to kick it away. This game's over. They decide to go for an onside kick. And instead of kicking an onside kick, they punt it straight in the air. It goes past the landing zone. And then I didn't know this rule existed because this new kickoff rule is so weird. They get the ball on the fucking Miami 10-yard line. I mean, it's, it's insane. And then... They run the ball three times. They get down to like the two or three yard line. And I'm thinking to myself, like, please don't kick it. Because it's such an easy field goal. The game's over. And they go for it. Miami stuffs the inside run. Pollard bounces it outside. Miami's corner falls down. And they score a touchdown. We lose the under. I mean, that was just, that that that, that hurt my soul. Like, just, just that, that literally hurt my soul. Unbelievable. We added Tony Pollard over 50 and a half rush yards um, on the video yesterday. We put, I mean, on Monday, we put it in the pinned comment like we said we were, and we posted on Twitter, and remembers God, that was a win. A-Chain, he didn't do anything. I mean, no one in Miami did anything. Miami's a mess. They should honestly, Miami big picture should honestly like just tank to get one of these quarterbacks coming out of the draft because two is injury prone, and they're not going anywhere right now with him. Um, Jack Smith and Jigbo over four and a half catches. That was a dub. And then we did Montgomery over 64 and a half rush yards. He had 42 yards in the first drive and it was 42 yards for the game. I mean, they just didn't give him the ball. I mean, they just did not. He had that awesome catch and run, but that obviously doesn't count towards rush yards, but it's what it is. Overall season 43 and 45. And you know what? We're back. Like I told y'all on Sunday, I said, I love the board. We're going to, we're bouncing back and you'd love to see that. And honestly, like we're, we have 12 and five in our last 17 bets. So I'm loving, we're loving to see that. And we have um, we have Thursday Night Football tonight. We have three plays you guys here on YouTube. We have one members only best bet. You can get that at zdmbets.com slash picks. The website is linked in the comments below. But if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these uh, NFL videos every single day the NFL's on, along with college football, which we're hot in right now. The MLB, we went 3-0 on free picks yesterday, 3-1 overall. We do have a members-only best bet in the MLB as well. Today, there's only one game, and I really like the game. So if you want to get our members-only best bet, you get NFL and MLB today. Getting at the ZDMBest.com slash picks. Uh, NBA and NHL, we're going after 15,000 subscribers, so I'm excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. Um, but let's jump in the plays that we have today. First play I'm rolling with is the under 44.5 Tampa Bay and Atlanta. First off, it's just Thursday night football, man. Like, that's just what this is. It's Thursday night football, and these games are sloppy, and they're low scoring, and that's just what it is. Everyone and their mother's on the over because Atlanta put up numbers on Sunday. Tampa Bay put up numbers on Sunday. By the way, we had Tampa on Sunday. They fucking murdered the Eagles, no surprise. Um, but they've got good, both these guys have good defenses, very, very good secondaries. And the sharp money day is all over the under. I mean, 75, as of right this second. So obviously these numbers can change. But from what I'm looking at right this second, um, Atlanta is, oh my God, the under has gone from 40, is gone from 45 and a half down to 44 and a half. And I wouldn't be surprised if down to 43 or 42 and a half. 
at this point. But right this second, 25% of the bets are on the under, 75% on the over. Whenever, that's that, whenever, there's, whenever there is that much of a split, that much of a difference, you always have to go with the, with the play that has a lower bet percentage. And in this case, I'm rolling with the under. And these teams both have really solid defenses, so there's no real reason to be worried about that. So give me the under 44 and a half, Atlanta and, my, Atlanta and uh, Tampa. And I could very well see this game be like a 24-20 game or 23-20 or something like that. Next, you go with Ray Ray McLeod over 34 and a half receiving yards. Like, Ray Ray McLeod has actually weirdly become one of Kirk's, like, favorite targets. Like, I don't understand why. Um, he's gone over this number a lot this year. And he's got really good speed, great yak ability. And you should be able to get over this number. And from the stats I've seen, he's hit this number a lot. So, I like Ray Ray McLeod. I mean, he's going he's to have a really good matchup because the, the main corner is going to be on Drake London. They're going to be on... Um, Darnell Mooney, they're gonna be focused on um they're gonna be focused on Kyle Pitts. And by the way, they use Kyle Pitts so so wrong in this offense. It's ridiculous. He should be literally on the line the entire time because then when they split him out wide, you lose like that mat that that the, the advantage you have in the matchup against him versus a linebacker or a safety. It's just dumb. I don't know why they don't do it. But they're gonna be focused on their players. Ray McLeod should have plenty of plenty of options, or excuse me, plenty of opportunities there to get catches. I think it goes way over this number. Plus, we only need one bomb from him to be able to, you know, get over this number. So give me Ray McLeod over 34 and a half receiving yards. And we'll go with Mike Evans over four and a half catches. I just think he's a great receiver and you know he's gonna have a good matchup because Chris Godwin has been and, um, ben Baker's one of his favorite targets, if not his most favorite target. Um, and Evans should be able to get over this number pretty easily, especially the fact that he's the number one receiver on the team. And um, Baker just likes throwing him and Godwin the ball nonstop. And I don't really see much of a running game from the Bucks here today. So give them Mike Evans over four and a half catch today. Now, like I said, guys, we do have uh, two members only best bets today at zdmbets.com slash picks. Website is linked in the comments below. Guys, go lock on those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow.